Bring it down, up, down, that's okay. But chances of doing it all downstrokes would be slim because that means it's it's something that's played faster. But this is cool because it'll go some fast power chord changes. It's open A, 2D, 1A, 3D, and you're just going to move up a half step each time till you get to 4th and 6th fret. If you need to use your pinky, that's fine. And it's quick, man. It's like... Hey, man, you picked it, Ray. You picked it. <laughs> I love it, though. I know how you think, man. So, um, anyways, that gets rid of that section. Now, I've got section 5A, and then a section 5B, and then a 5C. Section 5B is similar. You're back to that D chord with different fillers, really. Walking up to the A, so. And then another fill filler. It's going to go. Bard 6th fret, E and B string. Slide it up to the 7th fret and go down, up, down, up. Do that two times. So it's the third time, slide up and go down, up, up. So it'd be the whole thing would be. So two ups on the end. It's because it's not as quick. So and then slide back to the D to the A. And then this is a, a new part. 3E, 2E. Just a walk down really to an E5 power chord. Which is open E to A. Alright, you'll um, go from there to section 5C. Now this is kind of a play off of section 2. Okay, you'll go. Oops. Repeat it, and you're done. You go into these chords again. That's all the same as the end of section two. So we've covered that. The next new part is a filler coming in at 227. It's based off of the 5A section, which was, and then a filler, which is going to go like this. And I missed a few of these, man, in the in the intro, but uh, or in the playthrough. Uh, we we got this riff. Or, so nine G bend. I'm gonna use third finger. Seven high E, and I'd follow the picking in this. Ten on the B, pull off to seven. And then 9-7-G, 9-D. Probably get away with downstroking the end. 7-G. He does a little palm mute. And then 9 pull 7. And then on the D, 9-7-9 slide. So. Um, series of repeats. And then a play off of the section 5B. So you go back to the... Oh, man, I'm having trouble. The tuning. And then a new filler riff. It goes. You're going to bend the 10B, third finger, back it with a few. And then 7 high E. And then you'll see the start of double dots. And you're going to alternate pick, and you're going to bend the 10B. And then the 7E twice. It's an odd number, so you're going to wind up, it, it's four times of that, but um, it has to cycle through, down, up, down, up, down, up. So however you want to look at that, that could be two times or four times. And then bend the 10th fret B twice. So we have... And then section 6, 2 minutes, 43 seconds in. This is new, it's kind of a... A breakdown leading into the solo. E5, it's open E to A to a D 
D major, open D, 2G, 3B. A full A major, almost full. Open A, 2nd fret D, G, and B. G major. And I would just go 3E, muted A, 3B, and just strum the A strings muted. To an E5 again. And you do that two times, so you can start back on the E5. the drums build up and then um, I played the rhythm okay in the behind the main guitar solo because it's actually a cool rhythm but in your tabs you're gonna see the actual solo and I grabbed some of the solo through this um, I missed one that I really wanted to get which was the bummed I missed that because I'd practiced it many a time and had that, but that's alright, I got the part after it. So let's break down this solo. 14G bend, this comes in at 3 minutes 5 seconds. And then 12th fret barred E and B. And then you're going to see double dots. You're going to go 14G bend, 12th fret E and B twice, and do that twice. So it's... We have... Double that up. Bend the 15B twice, so. 12th fret E and B to 15E bend. Then we're going to go 15-12 on the E. And then 15B twice, bend vibrato. So it's 15B twice, pull to 12, to 14G. 12 G and B twice slide. It's a good little subgroup too. 12th fret D, third finger slide to 14, to 12 G and B, and then go 14 D, 12 G and B twice. So it's. Okay, on the B string, 15, 13, 12, 12. Right, hold on here. Okay, 15, 13, 12, 12, B, 14, 12, 12 on the G, to 14, D. It's a good subgroup. Twelve G, fourteen twelve D to fourteen A. So those last four notes. Twelve D and G. Nice little run. Fourteen A, twelfth fret D and G twice. Then you're gonna mute basically the D and G string, and then twelfth fret barred on the D and G. Uh, it'll be two times of that. 14B, we're going to, or 14G, we're going to bend. It's going to be two times. Um, then, we jump way over here to second fret on the G. Bend it a whole step. Hold and then pick. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. Then, two open, two open. Two D to two open G. So. Two open, two open on the D. Two, one open on the A. And then second fret, low E, half step bend. That part. Hold on here, I would alternate. Okay. So a half step bend. We know we're going. We know that we're going in one fret, bending an F sharp to a G. Or half step to a G. 
two G or two on the D, rest, and then open two two, and then slide up. Three minutes twenty seconds in, twelve B, fifteen high E, pull off to twelve to 12B. No, the way to approach that is to bar the 12th fret. That's going to play twice. Like that. So, 15 pull 12 on the B, which is cool. We're still barring. And then pick the 12. 15B bend twice. Vibrato. So that riff at 320 sounds like this. Then 15. 15 bend. 15 bend release. So three different tones happening. 12th fret twice. 12 on the B. 15 E pull to 12. To 13 B. This part's interesting. It goes. See what I mean? So you'll go. Move it a half step up, and you can experiment with fingering. 16, pull 13 on the E to 14B. Same thing a half step higher, 17 to 14 to 15B. 18, pull to 15 to 15B. So check it out. You have. Interesting. 19, pull off to 15 on the E, so I'll use my pinky, or third finger, and then 19, 22, you're gonna bend twice, 326, um, you're gonna go on the E string, 12, 10, 12, this is alternate picked, and then 10A, 12E, 10A, so it's Top of page 5. On the A, 12, 10, 12, slide to 14. Or 12D, 14A. Now on the D, go 12, 14, 12, 14. 12G, 14D. So that's 12G, 14, 12, 14. 12B, 14G, 12B. That's awesome. So you have. That's about how fast, too. 14G bend, and then 12th fret B and E, and then 15 pull 12 on the B. That's one of my first lead riffs I ever learned. Right out of the pentatonic scale. 14 G, 12 B, twice. 15 B, twice, bend vibrato. So, 12 E, 15 B, twice, bend vibrato. 12 E, 15, 12 B, 15 E, bend, and then 15 vibrato. So, 15 pull 12 on the E. 1512B. That's a cool uh, Zach Wilde riff, you know? He'll do it. Those types of things. 1512 on the B. So. 15 pull 12 on the B. 1412GB. So you have. I call this a six pattern because. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then apply that same technique. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then 14 pull 12 on the G. And then 14, 12, D, G, again. And then 14, D, vibrato. That goes twice, so it's... That, you probably remember it at that speed, right? 14, 12, D and G twice. 14, pull 12 on the D. So 14A. So we have 12A, 14A, 12D, 14D vibrato. So it's 
So that sounds like this. A little faster. And up to their tempos about like this. Alright, 336, and this is the one I'm meant to play in the intro, but 979EAE. -E. It'll go. Yep. 9797. Nine, nine pull seven on the A. And then nine slide to eleven on the A. Then go nine eleven D A. And on the D you go nine eleven pull nine. Eleven D nine G. Again, eleven D nine G. Eleven pull nine G. To eleven G nine B. Again, eleven G nine B. So that phrase right there goes about how they do it love this part too 10th fret B middle finger pull off to 9 but bar the 9th fret on the G and B then pick the 9 G Repeat it with a 12 on the B, pulling to the 9. And do that twice. 10 pull 9 on the B. 11 G bend. So that gives you... Then... 9 E, 12 B, pull 9. And then 11 9 on the G vibrato. 11 9 D G. And then 12E bend, and then pick vibrato, and then we have this run. Where's that end? Yeah.